Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can easily swap object in hand. So we're going to change the ball in this player's hand to a watermelon. So this is what is going to happen when we finished editing this picture. I'm going to change the ball to something else. So it's going to be a watermelon. And you can use any image to do this. I prefer to use watermelon. Consider subscribing if today is your first time. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video. Anytime I upload similar video or different videos, you should be getting alert and then you'll be the first to watch this. And if there's any giveaway, you'll also be the first to get that. So let's jump right into action and start editing this. So I'll go to Photoshop. Let me just close this and then I'll open my Photoshop and I'm going to drag the original image here. So this is the original image with the ball. I'll just drag this to Photoshop. Deny image and then move it to Photoshop and then just drop it here. so when you open this image in photoshop basically want to zoom in and then focus on the ball and then the hands because we want to actually swap this ball to something else that is our focus for this video so we need to get the object or whatever fruit you want to use instead of the ball so you can go to go you can go to google and then just search for any image at all you want to use i download the watermelon and make sure the image you downloaded is having a transparent background if it's not having a transparent background you can easily remove that by using photoshop or you can go to a site called remove.bg i'll leave the link in the description and you can remove the background of that in my case i'm done downloading the watermelon so i'll go ahead and drag that as well to photoshop let's say my downloads folder and i'll open that so this is the watermelon and i'll drag this to what photoshop and download that you can use any fruit like i said i also have a poll over here so let me just drag this to photoshop and i'll drop it here i'll drop it to photoshop wait for this to load so this is what we're going to use the watermelon for this in place of the ball so we're going to swap this so now let's focus and then start editing this okay we want to first get the hand we have to cut the hand and we're going to use the pen so you can also use the magnetic lasso tool so let's focus and then just edit this hand and we first need to unlock this image so from the layer panel just double click and click ok so just click on ok click and then click on ok in order to remove this lock and then to cut this one you can use several tools the lasso tool is that but i'm going to use a pen tool so go to your tools panel and then click on the pen tool and then we can start cutting okay so cut around as long as you are not cutting the ball that is okay so i can click around this place and then start cutting this particular object i'm cutting only the hand so just select around the hand and then focus well and then get a perfect cutting of the hand okay just cut around the entire hand until you are done so let's make sure we are cutting just the hand just select around the hand so do that until you are done so I'll select around the entire hand this way we are cutting both hands so just take note of that because we just want to focus on just the hand and then we can position the ball where the ball is with our new fruit that's the melon so let's just focus on that until we are done cutting the hand so just reset and then do places that are not cut just make sure that it's cut in order to improve on the quality of your work okay you can easily come back and then refix those that are not perfectly cut so i'll just do that until i'm done with the entire hand so let's just finish the first hand and then we'll try and then work on the second one as well. So if I'm okay, I'll just go ahead and then cut other part. I just don't want to cut the ball. That is my focus. So go around until you are done with the entire hand. Okay, I think this is okay. And then join from the starting point. And that's all. We need to first right click so right click on this and go to what make selection so when you click on that do this by confirming it click ok and it's going to select that part of your hand just the selection of that and what we need to do is to go to edit and then click on what copy so we copy that part of the selection and then we'll go back and then go to what paste special and click on paste in place so do that and then if you go back to the layer panel you should be getting layer one so that's a copy of the section that we cut 
that is good for now we'll try the same thing for the second hand so before you do that make sure you select the main object click on that from the layer panel and then repeat the same process so i'll click and then do the same thing around the second hand so let's just go ahead and then select around this entire hand once again and then cut the second portion so let's go over the entire process by repeating it for the second hand so select around it this way so i'll just go through the process and then cut around this entire hand so we can easily come back and then repush it and just check if everything is okay then keep doing that until you are done cutting around the entire hand Then that's okay once you are done cutting and the rest are no problem to you whether it go beyond the image that is not a problem just click and then join from where you started from repeat the same process by right clicking and selecting what makes selection and click on ok once you are done with that go back to edit and go to what copy and then go back to the same place and now go to paste special and click on paste in place we're now going to get a second what layer layer one and layer two so we'll go back and then pick our object that is a melon and then we are going to move it here but before that let's zoom out a bit so that we can see the exact position of this object so select the zoom tool from your keyboard hold down alt it will change to plus minus and then just click towards zoom out so let's go back and then pick our melon use the move tool that's the first tool and then drag this to your image so drop it here anywhere at all and then start with dragging it and then just rotate it by moving your cursor to the edges and let's now re enlarge this let's try and get the same position as our objects okay as the football let's try and get the same position as that and make sure you align this perfectly the position of this on your layer is very important okay so the melon need to go below the hand once this is set up you are okay with the side just click on or hit the enter key on keyboard or just select the check icon at the top to confirm this and then now the object that's the melon is below the first hand but we need to drag it from the layer panel below the second hand and now you can see both hands will now be grabbing the melon and that is exactly what we want to achieve we can easily go ahead and then zoom out and then you see that everything is now perfect the player seems to be grabbing melon instead of the ball so that is what we want to achieve remember to like subscribe and turn on post notification if you enjoy videos such as this subscribe and also remember to share this video with friends and give me a comment at the comment section if you want to get interactive with me i have i'll be ready for you at the comment section you can get interactive so this is how you can easily swap objects in hand this could be any object so like coming away again remember to share